All right, hello everyone. Uh, we're not going to wait for anyone to jump in this time, and just hop right into this. <laughs> oh God, why did I make this? <clears throat> Basically, this is the hardest start I could possibly think of that wouldn't be a guaranteed failure. And just to really make these even worse, I'm gonna start off as a high group now. And yes, you are seeing this correctly. I spawn with no limbs. I spawn in debt. And wow. Oh yeah, and everyone hates you. Well, I don't care much about adjusting mine. It has one head to begin with. Looks fine. So, I have a few things I could do here, but considering I'm going for the ultimate challenge mode, which is no extra characters, no, uh, what was it, no stealing, and no glitches. Unfortunately, that means that I need to rely on a bit of luck. So when the audience gets here, I will leave it up to them on whether or not I can import to change my luck until I get something that's actually workable. But once I go with it, I'm stuck with it. I just have to you know, get there first. And I could have avoided that if I was paying attention. But I'll be okay. Now there are actually some early game advantages to being a hive. For one thing, I'm immune to acid after I come later. I also eat less than usual. And I have better movement speed than usual. I think the only thing else will attack me while I'm unconscious. There are no carnivores out here. Oh no. What's this? Where's the
Okay, just a little bit more. Ooh. I missed a fight. In that direction. Just please. Leave me alone until I good enough. I just make sure I'm coming in the right direction. Now it's actually a benefit to start off with damaged vitals. You start off at zero, but it's all bandaged, so it heals over time. The advantage to that is that you can be knocked out in one hit. Now it'll take you a very long time to recover, but they'll stop attacking you. You won't rack up a whole bunch of cut damage. That of course you won't be able to heal because you don't have any med kits. Uh, there we go, heading into our first night. Considerable stealth bonus. You'll notice that in the bottom left there, my stealth bag is incredibly penalized due to my missing limbs. However, it's also penalized to my injured body. So as it recovers, my stealth value will increase, and it will very quickly shoot up to 100, the maximum skill. I'm relying on being at 100 by the time I get to my destination. Okay, so the camera is facing the direction I want to go. And no, you will not travel any faster. As we're going to. Stuck at this pace forever. I'm hoping I can see some combat. So there's some here. Oh, wait. Right by that, I didn't even see it. I was saying that I hope I can find some food. Can you get it before he wakes up? Yay, medical. But I don't think I can use it yet. Some like cloth pants. Well, take anything at this point. And ninja rags. Stealth bonus. That's this thing right. And back on our way. Oh wait. What? How did I miss all of this? I'm sure this is gonna look ridiculous in the flavor. Not much. No good head armor. Some very restricting stuff. I 
But I think these give another stealth bonus. So I might as well take that. This is the closest one here. And it's dead. Good. Now there's no point in looting anything that you can't use. You would have to sell a million swords to be able to purchase anything. It's a shame that one actually doesn't use it. Yes, and it was still a bonus. Very nice. And then more medical. I'm also not worried about being overburdened here. So since I can't even use this yet, I might as well use it to train my strength, since it's not going to slow me down on how much I carry. Another two kilograms, more medical. Six kilograms. Hmm. Make sure you see your boots. Maybe I can fit another thing in here. Ah, butter. There we go. I'm up to 64% encumbrance. This will hinder my stealth, but you know, honestly, it's so low at the moment because of my injuries that it's not really negative. Oops, someone just got up. Now it's actually a little bit eerie when you don't see scar patrols for this long. It usually means they're hiding somewhere. I think they implemented the whole ambush nest thing for skimmers really well in this game. Because you can you can clearly see them if you're looking for them. But if you're not paying attention, it just looks like like this here. Little random outcrops of sand. Man not those ah, that's not good. They can easily destroy anything else they come across, which could benefit me. Like that random guy. Okay. Just keep going in that direction. Good. Back on the path. Ah, my first skimmer. Oh no, no! <laughs> oh crap. Okay, there's three of them. One of them should stay dead this time. There we go. Now, what's all this? Starving vagrants. Bandits can loot animals for food now. So, 
hopefully, that's a good idea. Let's see if you, yeah, you've been looted. There's no reason you'd be dead otherwise. And the other two survived. Oh, hiding right in my path. Great. Oh crap, Tech Hunters hate me too. That's gonna hurt. So there are many benefits to your spell skill. Oh yay! The most obvious one is the ability to sneak. Not being seen is great, but you can't survive. The other benefit is disguise. For instance, if you're... I don't have it now, but if I were to disguise myself as another faction, I could notice some factions wear armor that is branded. Oh. I'm losing my own killer in peace. And also as a hyper, I can the bone. I'm going to take the good stuff here because there's a higher concentration first. Yeah. Anyway, if you see something that says faction uniform, that's something that can create a disguise. You have to wear enough pieces for it to actually activate though. Oh, and also, if someone of that faction notices that you're in disguise, you're in for a rough time. So train up your stuff. Okay, we are officially less than 10% of the way there. On the positive side, I'm up to 4 strength already, and I haven't done anything. 22 stealth, 15 athletics. I'm gonna be really fast. I don't think I'm at war with the Manhunters. Yes, I am. That's great. I really don't want to be the uh, walking. Left to the right. Might be the same squad from before. Outlaws. Good, get back on track. Good. 
Traders Guild, let me guess. Yeah, they hate me too. Okay. One of the benefits of going this incredibly slow is that uh, the navigational pathfinding system rarely screws up when I have so much time to figure out where it's going. So I don't have to rely too much on luck on wasting time crawling 15 minutes to go 15 feet in the wrong direction. I'm actually going to turn that off so I have a better view. Earlier warning. Outlaws. Yeah. I really don't want to come across that dog. I may have chosen the wrong direction. Still going over the block. Oh, I'm at 44 still 30. That's fine. Oh, skimmer. No. Oh, Marlos. Come on, fight, 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 fight. Ah, they keep turning to face me. Going that way. As long as you get in there, I'll be happy. I'll deal with the whole getting there intact part. I'm sorry, bastard. Crawling away just like me. Oh, battle over the hill. Okay. What? Huh? Slave hunters. Slave hunters took out outlaws. Okay. Well, there's nothing good for me there. I'm running on food. But I have plenty of. Ooh. I really wish things couldn't pop in that close. But I have plenty of nutrition to at least get most of the way where I'm going.
Seven strength, 46 stealth, 20 FPS. Actually, I wonder. No thievery XP. Hmm. I have already stolen things, but you know, everyone will be dead, so it's not exactly a challenge. Oops. Now, let me see, I'm just get attacked while I'm doing this. But, there is another strategy. If it wouldn't take so insanely long to get there, there's a hive nest over here somewhere. Which I think is right there. You can go up there and you can steal them from them. That is the reliable option. I'm taking the harder version, where I can't steal it. Ever. And I can't buy anything because I'm in debt. And I don't have the patience to get rid of it. One other thing you can do, to at least get someone on your side, is to go to Fort Simeon, which is right over here. And since I am enemies of the United Cities, I could be allies of Fort Simeon, which are your basic outlaws. Your outlaw farmers, outlaw swordsmen. They'll protect you in here. However, doubling the length of my journey only increases the number of terrible things that can happen to me. Eventually, you get stuck in a situation that you can't sneak out of. So since I can't steal, that makes food a bit of a challenge. Really? You're going the other way. Bugs, man. And it's a good idea to only save when you're very far away from anything else to save. Because when you reload a save, it can change pathfinding. Or more specifically, it can change destinations of characters. So then, you save and it's like, oh, they were leaving me. Going further away, which is good for me. And you save it and then go right into it. Sorry, save and load. I don't think I've ever seen this many patrols. But of course, you tend to notice these things when every single one can kill you. And end your run right where it is. Okay, that's 20% of the way there. Best guess. Oh, hello. Bounty hunter. No. I'm neutral with bounty hunters. Okay. And mercenaries. Food. 
but let's move on to the green. Ah, oh, right, I was talking about you. <clears throat> I will be hunting for my food. At least once I have the stats to do so. That relies on a lot of work as well. If I could find a crossbow where I intend to find my limbs. Oh, those are weapons. We have two weapons. Including a sword? That's pretty weird for a magnet. Duck to the side. Hope for the best. So my initial source of food is actually going to be very, very slight. I can count on there being a small amount of food in Lost Armors. I cannot count on being able to get to it. But once I have legs, it'll be very easy to find animals and let other people kill them. And I can get the food and run away. And then just... Be very careful with my combo. It's just a basic solo run after you get limbs. Two legs and one arm is all you actually need. You need two legs so that you can run, so you can get to the other arm lines. And you need an arm so that you can lock pick. This is Tech Hunter. Tech Hunter Robot? Oh man, and a heavy weapon. I do not want to play this game. Well, wow. really calm down. Oh, I'm already at max stealth. Effectively, at the moment. Nine strength. <laughs> I'm at an actual true value of 71 stealth. 26 athletics. Almost two toughness. Yay, moving up in the world. Okay, so there. Somewhere between 20 and 35%. And there we go, more food.
Oh, you fucker. Alright. No, I'm doing Final Hunger right now, anyway. Do a fair amount of blood from both sides. Stout. Hopefully not leaving scorn territory. I don't spend much time down here, I'm not familiar with the spawns. Nice now. Turn right at that last second. Samurai? Mercenaries, huh? Oh, Can you kill one of those skimmers for me? I'll pay you a billion dollars in debt. What is that? Garden? Yeah. Green is a pretty small pack of gardens. I feel like I still cutting skins. Just take a moment to thank that I don't have to keep repeating territory. In case you're wondering, they are small hunters. That's that's pretty bad. Okay, over a third of the way there, which may be a good time to remind you that. I don't necessarily have anything that I need when I get there. So I'm gonna have to use him. I feel like I'm moving faster. I'm pretty sure I'm not though. <laughs> yeah. Nothing you can do about it. That's fine. They're fine. 
want to have to check was 11 strength. Nice. So unless I get really unlucky with my legs, assuming I even get legs, the athletics I have, I'll be able to go well over 20 miles per hour. Which is enough to outrun everything except the Eagles. But honestly, now that I have this maximized stealth, I could just let it go. Patrols would have to get very close to see me. However, I need to stick around so I can take any opportunities. That'll get me there. chances.
that chest. I'll have to watch that. I'm going to have to watch it all the time. I don't know if it's enough cut damage to do that though. That's almost halfway. It's just a bit of a maze at the end. And the first one would probably be locked, so I'll have to walk past it. But you gotta check it. It's all random. Sometimes it's the second one that's locked. So to clarify, there are three armorings in the Deadlands. Now, in my testing, there has always been one locked. And of course, you can't lock it without arms. So I have to get an arm in order to lock it. Alternatively, I can get two legs. And the other two armorings, if I can collectively get two legs, I can get up to the Viking Coast. Or all the way down to the southwest, even further south than Arak, and I can look there in that armory. I only need one arm and two legs to open the door, or one arm and lockpicking experience. Unfortunately, it's going to take a lot of lockpicking experience to open up the, uh, the better vaults and armories and things like that. And to be able to open up the reprogramming workshop, which will give me which will give me some very powerful and very limited combat support. And all of that happens to be in that one location. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can break in the door. For that you need a weapon, which I already have, an arm in both legs. For whatever reason, you have to be standing to break it down. And it doesn't matter which arm you have, which I think is pretty silly. Because if you have your right arm, it'll show you swinging the weapon. If you have your left arm, it'll show you whacking the door <laughs> with the bottom of your fist. It's like then, if you're basically going to do martial arts on it, then why do you have to have a weapon? doesn't even model it. But it makes sense. I mean, it's steel, after all. Steel that has stood up to the test of time and weather for thousands of years, apparently. Years of years, but... Uh, combat over there that went very swiftly. Yeah. Nothing there for me. Unless there's an ambush. Swear, what is it that possesses patrols to cross my path so precisely? 
If it had been just a few seconds earlier, I wouldn't have to waste my time. Okay, hunger is starting to be a factor. But as long as I can make it to the Deadlands, I'll be happy. Unfortunately, there's nothing there I can kill for meat. But it's not going to be killing anything anyway. It's just fewer enemies. Less room to dodge around them as well. But, you know, better odds overall. So bandits have a tendency of settling in mountains. Oh, and this is that mountain. Spine Canyon, the Tengu's Vault. That's the Blood Bandit Mountain. And there's also the Cactus Dent on the other side. Oh, yeah. And the entire surrounding area is infested by skimmers. But again, praise be that they're not carnivorous. You see, at one point, I considered doing the start, doing this challenge by getting myself captured immediately. Because then all you have to do is disobey and you get beaten up. That drains your toughness. They heal you for free. Which obviously a benefit to it. But without an arm, you can't even open the cage. You are stuck on their schedule. And in my testing, I got stuck so often that I would just be left in the cage. Even if I had all of my limbs, they would just leave me in the cage. Everyone else would go out and work, and I'd be like, hey, <laughs> I'm trying to escape here, people. But no, no. Slavers do not cooperate. So instead, I'm going the evil ancient spider route. At least they consistently try to kill you. And who knows? As long as I can get something workable, I will stick with this start. Otherwise, I'll have to do it again. Also, I plan on making a, a very small settlement in this game. If I end up doing any research on them. 
We'll see. The really fun part is that I would have to go out and loot the building materials, the initial ones, and the initial iron as well. Iron plates, I mean. Just to build your basic, obvious stuff. Like your small shack. I can't buy those parts. And I'm not going to steal those parts, so I have to go loot them from armors or libraries or destroyed towns. Thankfully, I have a place in mind that has lots of that nearby. Pretty far removed, but it's cannibal territory. Or at least really close to cannibal territory. If I go up on the Leviathan coast, it's still close enough to trigger cannibal raids. Which is a problem. And of course, Leviathans are a problem, and geek things are a problem. So there's no way I'm going there to start. But if I was going to settle somewhere, it'd probably be up there. Because there are no factions that hate me up there. There are no factions that even go over there. There are not even any cannibal patrols. You just have your raids. And they're easy enough to avoid. You just leave the town. Let them smash something. They go home. As a benefit, since I'm a hybrid, I would also be immune to the acid rain, which was recently added to the Black and Ghost. Now, it's not damaging enough to take out the cannibals for me, it's kind of a shame. I'd have a rough time getting enough books to do even the basic research. It's pointless to make any weapons, because just getting my limbs, I'll get amazing weapons. Not necessarily the ones that I want. But nonetheless, I'm at low enough skill that it really doesn't matter at this point. What else? Armor. On rare occasions, you can get the best armor in the game in ancient armors, lost armors, and such. I can hope. Otherwise, I'll have to loot them from bodies. Probably ones that I take out. And that would be far enough down the road to be disconcerting. Another limited resource I have to watch out for is skeleton repair kits. The only way I can get those is from the ancient armors or destroyed towns again. Thankfully, they are rather plentiful. In those regards, unfortunately, as I said, it is a limited resource. If I take a lot of damage to my skeletal limbs, I could get in a rough shape, a rough patch. Also, I would like to use crossbows at some point during this playthrough, but sourcing the ammunition, I could make my own ammunition. But that's tier 3 research. You have to build the buildings, you have to build the research benches. I mean, just the building materials required to make a building big enough to stick in the level 3 research bench is ludicrous for one person. Especially since I have mods that make that harder. I also have mods that make combat harder. So, yeah, that's intelligent of me. Playing the hardest start in existence, created by me specifically to do so. <laughs> and I just <laughs> wasn't content with that. Well, we are through Spine Canyon. 
coming into view now is the reason it's called that. And by god, I wish I could fight something like that in this game. It would need new mechanics, though. I, I mean, think about the Leviathan in this game. How often you clip through the legs trying to hit the thing. And it just has the the one chomp attack Ooh, ambush. Yep. Let's hope I don't go over there. But a monster of that size, you need to have mechanics along the lines of what if it steps on you? All right, you're dead. It's not gonna have some. You know, bite you attack it's gonna have some there's not even a word for it in comparison to the rest of this game oh no 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 oh god I hate you It wasn't even the ambush that killed me. That was... 75% of the way I had to go. Okay. What was it? Screamer Mark One? That's a new one. This was called Ashlander back in the day. Ashland Skeleton. And away we go. Again. That was one hour on the dot. So, the total journey would be including looting, probably about hour and a half to figure out whether or not I've wasted my time. Because I expect it to actually be the second armory that I've done. More often than not, the top one is always locked. And of course you can't lock it with the arms, so... What good that does me. Ooh, come out already. And one person left this one. Dying, good. Actually, has a sword. Also a benefit. Oh, slow hunters. No, that's a good point. Maybe I don't want to get seen by them. Traders Guild hates me. There we go. So right between them. Ooh. Now that's a feast. Those nation are going to get back up. Yeah, probably a few of them. Grow faster, Pride.
You can do it. It's a very small amount of time. Oh, no, no, no! No! Minus 39, that's pretty bad. It's already degrading. <sighs> got so far. And there's the one I didn't see coming that got me. Sneak. Go. Come on, take me home. <laughs> yes, life in pain. This is a new start. And let me just say how apt your name is for this situation. So I actually created this mod for the masochists and the Kenshi community. I'm not even a masochist. I'm just doing this to show that it can be done. And I got... I did pretty good my first try. If I had made it just like 50 more feet before that thing came up the mountain, that would have been fine. Oh wait, I'm just coming back right here. The skimmer. Okay, my intended goal is an armory. A lost armory. In my testing, well, objectively, there are three out in the deadlands. Alright, let me save in case I get attacked on the map. So, right here, here, and here are the three armories. In my testing, two of them have been unlocked and one of them has been locked. There is a small chance that Masterwork Limbs will spawn in unlocked chests, as well as in you know, locked chests in the vaults and whatever else. There's also a small chance that it isn't guarded, but I'm not counting on that. Because by the time I get there, I'm going to have 100 stuff in there. I should be able to sneak by to at least the closest barrels, chests, whatever. Now, I only need two legs, which would let me run around and get to the other armories that are hopefully not. Nope. I'm not getting involved in that. What is this now? Yeah, that's not even what that's on.
the other thing I need, or I say the other option, is if I get an arm, any arm, would let me lockpick. Which I'm never going to get enough lockpick while I'm down in the Deadlands to get to the third one that is most likely locked, the third armory. But it would let me get into the other chests, which just increases my chances of getting limbs. What I actually need to move forward is two legs. So, yeah. Now the first time I tested it, I was stupidly lucky. The first one was locked, so I went to the second one, which had a left arm and left leg. And then I went all the way to the third one, and it had a right leg. And then I ran all the way up to Leviathan Coast at actual sprinting speed. I was running faster than my cheat character. I got all the way up there, and I had um, a right arm in the second building I looked through. I was just stunned about how incredibly fluid that was. And then the second time I tried it, I also got three limbs. They were different ones, and they were in a different orientation, but I still got three limbs, which is great. And then the third time I tried it, I got one leg in all three armories, including the one I wouldn't be able to get into, since I couldn't pick the lock. So hopefully I can get all the way out there. My stealth just kicked up. I have a huge bonus for being prone. But also huge penalties for being so incredibly injured. But I just shot up to 60 from what it was sitting at before, which is under 20. So my survivability has significantly increased. I need to find food on the way. Uh, there are plenty of opportunities to run into combat. The regular play is not exciting enough. That's not the point of this. I'm hoping to demonstrate how incredibly easy the normal gameplay is. Since I start with 1 billion cats dead, there is no reasonable way I'll ever and since I'm playing under my extra challenges, which is I've made the combat harder, there are three combat slots instead of one, which means three people can swing at you at once. And I have another mod which makes building and research and everything much worse, especially the higher tiers. Uh, the no limbs thing is obviously you know, the whole draw of the mod, but I want to show that once you have the basic functionalities of the character, you don't need to purchase anything. You don't need to even steal anything. Oops. Goddamn skimmers. Mostly it's about fleshing out the game's systems. Of course it would be great to go, hey, yeah, I beat this challenge, but... That's not the main thing. Oh, look at that. 
right, let's get Missouri. Get over the hill. Maybe they won't see me. <laughs> that actually worked. Come on, someone kill that thing. Never mind. Just stay back here then. So the reasons I went with Hive, I went with Hive Worker Drone because, you know, why not make it harder? But it's good to be Hive because you have reduced hunger rate. Oh, man. This is one really infested world. Sand Ninjas, they're not going to be very nice to me either. This one's dying. Hopefully I can get there in time. Anyway. Reduced hunger rate, basically nullified bleeding as well, immune to acid, ability to eat raw meat, and even, oh, what's the other name of it? Spoiled meat? I don't remember. So there we go, I have stealth gear again, and I might as well beat these other guys. Standard, standard, 152. This can be multiple. Ooh, crossbow. Only 40 shots to it, but you know, whatever. Medical, good. Awesome. That was a big bonus I had last time. So I found stealth gear early. Uh, unfortunately, it might have been too soon this time. Do me any good. Yeah, I'm being attacked by sand engines. Run! Should have taken all the weapons. Well, this one isn't necessarily a reload. That depends on how bad my uh, wound deterioration is. I'm healing faster than at the moment. Okay, that one seems to be getting worse at a very quick pace. And since I can't medic myself, then yeah. I roll, I die, I roll again.
damage. That is not bad. Come on, we can do it this time. Well, as far as today goes, my plan is to get there and see how well my luck is. If I got royally shafted, nothing good in the first one or even two armories. I'm just gonna have to redo it again anyway. But if I get lucky, then that'll be a great starting off point for the next stream. Okay, signs of battle ahead. It's not even. Oh, like a bone dog. I don't know if I can get that in time. Ah, uh, hello. That deserves a screenshot. Take a look at this thing's attack values. That's a thousand, million, billion. This is minus two billion attack. Is a weather penalty of minus two billion attack. I don't even make it. Ooh, I'm not going to recovery from me yet. And I definitely would make it. No! I don't want to take my meat. I'm counting on you to be unconscious. Yay! Okay, so here's my first food. Forty-five nutrition. That's not particularly good. All right, carry on. What? Why do you have to go around the dunes? It's a desert. Let's just make sure you're going the right way. This is right. Yeah, see me turn. Frustrating. Please don't be mad on this. Enforcers? What enforcers are around right now that you don't want to attack me? I really hope you don't mean samurai. That would be about the worst thing I could run into right now. I would actually prefer the Holy Nation. Right now. Okay, good news. We are almost 5% there. But seriously, uh, I'm about to increase in my stealth capacity pretty soon. Oh, 
of course, even a hundred stuff isn't gonna help you. you know, something steps on you, but every little bit helps. God, it's night and then dead right there. Skin with the trolls. See, if I had better luck, if I was able to find you know, a reasonably consistent amount of food, I could just wait out the day. I could find a good spot to hide, just only move through half the day. Especially because with my mods, the night is longer than it should be. I think it's... Ooh. Was it 8 hours or 10 hours? I don't remember. There we go. Stealth is finally in a positive number. 41, nothing to shake a stick at. See, the first time I got really lucky. I came across a few battles. I picked up stealth boosting gear, picked up some weapons to weigh me down. Which, when you're potato like this, when you have no limbs at all, it doesn't matter how uncovered you are, you're going to move at the same speed anyway. You might as well train your strength. But it will harm your stealth. Oh, Tech Hunters? Yeah, that's a fighting to avoid. Hunger just broke into the green, but I'm not sure I'll be able to keep it there. Okay, that's a semi patrol. Ah, god, my luck. I don't even think I can walk down that slope. Run for it!
Now, thankfully, anything they come across will die. Which could be a benefit to them. And now they're going to... Uh, Honestly, if I fail this again, I might as well manually control myself with these hills. Because when you try to do the... Oh, wait. I thought you guys were going to go here. Manhunters? I don't know why that happens. Are they coded not to take people without wings? I can't engage someone who's crawling. Anyway, anyway, that's what I was saying. Manual control overrides the long term pathfinding. If you see me taking these wide, you know, unnecessary angles, I'll go somewhere and then I'll turn sharply, go in another direction, turn sharply, go in another direction. Just trying to follow roads that the dev team made in the desert. And so are all of the AI groups. That's the skimmers. I love it not nearly as often. They do do that for the longer pathfinding. Yay! We'll be dead. No. Okay, they're not closing yet. There we go. I'll be dead. No! Taking skimmers? Well, when you're both using the same pathfinding that's trying to follow the same roads, obviously that could create some problems. It'll create unnecessary intersections. I don't want to be in the same path. I don't want to be in the same place. I want to see battles happening from afar so I can make informed decisions about whether or not to get close. Um, I thought I was going to do good. Okay, what's this now? More man hunters, good. Please finish this thing also and give you more food. Yes. Probably the major problem with the spoils of man hunters is that they, they use blunt weapons. So they usually get back up. Good. Recovery comma. For a fair amount of time. And dead. No, you should not be dead. Someone murdered you. Oh, fucking skimmers, man. I think the skimmer's gonna win. I wanted that food. If I stick around, he's gonna come after me next. Okay, so this is the way forward. So, no, 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 no. That's enough of that. Wait a minute. Playing dead. Ah. I wanted to steal from that guy. But if he's awake, that could trigger combat. Yeah. I told you someone took that food. Another man are playing dead. Severed human limbs? What? From skimmers? Ah! That's it right there. It wasn't armored grunts, it was your basic hungry people. Yay. Okay, skim rambush, watch out for that. And we are on the road again. Man, 
Jesus, Jesus. Let's get back up. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's not delivery, it's delivery. Anyway. At this point, I would like to say that it's going well, but just in case, I'm going to say that it's going terribly, because I wouldn't want to jinx it. Oh yeah, where am I? This is 20%. Heroes League, Bounty Hunters. I'm thinking I should probably go around the mountain this time. It's quite a walk. Let's see the direct beeline. So coming over here is the worst part. If I just come around to this part, it does add some time to my journey though. Ooh. Slave traders. I'm not sure slave traders are broken the way the hunters are right now. At a hundred stealth, I'm gonna risk it. There we go. More slave traders. And now it's daytime, so I'm gonna take Oh, hey, who's this? Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, did they take on a guard? Yes, they did. That one's looted. Carry anyone. Definitely not worth the risk. He's an attack one, isn't he? 
No. Oh, we better keep crawling then, boy. Oh, you just had to hit me twice. Okay. Alright, if this one doesn't work, well, I'm gonna have to cut it and come back in with time. Maybe I should just follow Man of around since the only thing that can't actually hurt me. <laughs> One thing I would love to see out of this game is the ability for skeletons to swap their limbs on the fly. It makes no sense to me that it has to be lost in combat in order to replace it. And then you can just hot swap after that. This just doesn't seem right. Uh... Zero stealth broad daylight. Oh, don't turn. Okay, you save. Manhunters versus rebels. That should not have been a fair fight. The rebels won. It's even worse. I was hoping they'll lose so I can eat their dogs. Um, on the other hand. No! I need some of you to stay down so I can reach you. Nice. No, no. Avoid the encounters. Avoid the encounters. Good. Recovery comma. Good. Get there. Now, because I'm going to have such extreme stealth values, I could actually wear a faction uniform. Wait, were you a hive? Yes, you are. No, I'm going to take that, and I might as well take another. Spike club for the weight. 60% manhunter disguise. Oh, it's a shame I don't have a helmet. But now I have some, some protection. And the bonus that there's a chance some factions might not recognize it's me, which could help prevent combat. And I'm also encumbering myself, which means I turn straight. So, I want to let you win win there. Oh yeah, I don't have any. I haven't had any food yet. You know what? I'm gonna do what I talked about. I am going to steer myself there by him. This is 
this way. I was gonna say, better not be anything in my face. Oh. Oh, that slave hunters. What's my penalty here? This is... Oh! 75% stealth and fight penalty. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Crawling bonus would be a pretty significant cut into that number, but still... I'm gonna have to take it off when I crawl by some enemies. I'm going on you guys to get in combat. Still have zero stealth. Uh, uh, bear in mind that I also have some pretty strong stealth bonuses for being in a dust storm. Now, what is this that I missed? That's nothing helpful. Oh wait. Not two strength already. Okay. Thirteen stealth? That seems a little low. This is the same dune I was just at. You can actually see the uh, walking path. This little white section here. 
and how it goes all the way around his doom for completely no reason. And then it goes all the way over there and comes back. Inefficient, and in this case, deadly. But usually you can't even see that. I'm sure this is an ambush. Good. Check where it's clear. Now that I've been watching this whole time, I know the road is clear. And I can cross. Instead of allowing this to take control of it, wasting those extra minutes going all the way around here, all the way around here, on the path that the AI that went to kill me is on. That's just silly. Two stealth? What? It should be higher than that. I'm at ten. That's Oh right, I'm also overburdened. I know I'm still injured as well. This is my... I wish that full breakdown makes strength and dexterity right here. But crawling just overrides everything. At least according to this page, but... It it's obviously not true if I'm at minus 11. Oh, random dying skimmer. I have no idea how you got there, but I appreciate it.
not. Take my team. This my encumbrance up to 65%. My stealth is at 1, but it's dark, and I'm in a dust storm. I just come to think of it, that might be why I died over here. So the dust storm ended. Oh, I left the ear effectively. <sighs> My actual stealth kills. Why is it only at 13? Last time it was at 30 by now. Time is just us patrols got so close. Okay, good skimmer. Some bugs. Okay. Stuff. Just don't turn. Okay. Oh, my God. I had to tell it not to turn. I made a turn. Awesome. Oh, hello. It must have been reset by an update. My NPC view range is less than the distance. I thought it was weird, they were popping up on top of me. Unfortunately, I have no concept of what 3,250 is. But if it continues to be a problem, I'll bump that number up and, and uh, just heartily eat the change in frames per second. Oh, right, it's daylight now. Um. Oh, there's so many of them. As long as I go on the other way, I'm happy. Oh, 
I'm just wondering what that thing was that was uh, someone subscribed to my YouTube channel. I did not know that would make a noise on my Twitch. I'm gonna have to change that. Oh man, I'll just, that's fine. Let's get back on track. Oh look, skimmer ambush. Let's stay away from that. Hopefully they'll fight and I'll get some more food. What? You disappoint me. Anyway, as far as my food supplies go, seventy. Not to bring me into the green. And I'm twenty, twenty-five percent over there. I'm up to 7 strength already. 26 stealth, 22 athletics. And I basically have to be at 100 stealth by the time we get to the armory. Which I am on track for. Prayers. All right, getting out into the nice flat open area again. Which for some reason is still a road system. Interruption. Oh, what's this? Better be eating a corpse. Good. And belongs to Rebel Farmers, which is the group that just passed by. No. Okay, so that was unpredictable. I'll just stay away from it, I'll be fine. Although there's a lot of food over there. Let's see. Dying and dying, so it hasn't been looted yet. Ooh, combat. Hey, with more guards, and there's the double farmers. Oh. 
Uh, no surprise, the enemies win. So. Okay, nightfall. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, no, never mind. You just switched the other corpse, the one I was gonna pick. Still unpredictable though. They run off and try to join a squad through my position. Ooh. Oh, playing dead. I want to take his sword, but he's not actually unconscious. That's pretty risky. He's gonna kill his friend. And then go off who knows where. Oh god! Oh god, that was close. Okay, he's off for a while. Might as well see if he has something useful. Like a lighter weapon. Staff is a great starting weapon, by the way. I would rather have that. Another dead skimmer. Plus one combat skill? No. Please be. Actually. Ah, no, he's been looted. Oh wait, dogs? Yeah, he's gonna get back up. Fucker. Oh, camp's up ahead. Raider camp. Okay. Well, as long as I stay at just the right distance away from it and scoot the edge, not only will I not aggro it, but I should be relatively safe from its patrols. And if anything comes near it, they'll attack them. So me. People stop changing direction. Especially tech hunters. That's an instant death sentence. Also, a massive squad of skimmers. Oh man, I want to eat that dog. Dying good. Where do those things go? Unfortunately, because of that NPC render distance, gotta move the camera on a little bit. Make sure I'm not missing something. So, seven stealth. Man, that's gonna bite me someday. We got some. Oh, right. Okay, we're already facing the right direction. It's gotta be this way. Actually, I'm going to follow this mountain range right here. My gut tells me the game wants a path around it. So I'm going to go through it.
What's this now? Rebel Farmer patrolling. Okay. Get out of the way, 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 get out of the way. Break line of sight. What the hell, dog? See, by zooming out, it actually makes NPCs disappear. I definitely need to fix that. Uh, let's just move it out to the view distance. Oops. Oh. Oh, that's a mine. Get it to. So I know you can't see this, but I'm typing backspace and 5, and it's going between 1,000 and 8,000. This, this hurts my OCD. <laughs> I also live for 4,000. No! <laughs> this is the true hard mode, right here. <laughs> Fifty nine hundred. That's that's better. Ooh, fifty five fifty. I like that one. <laughs> Ow. Alright, so I'm watching that bone dog run off in the distance. Let me see where it disappears. Right there. And sadly, it's not based on your your uh, character position. It's based on the camera position. So zooming out from here to here is the distance. So from my camera to that dog, you can see changing the angle also helps. Changing the angle closer. So right there, from my camera to that little brown speck is 5,550, which is much more reasonable than what it was before. But it will hurt my performance in cities. Oh yeah, uh, I still got food, really. Up to 10 strength already. 29 athletics and 30 stone. And progress report I am. Just save while I'm doing this. I am. Third of the way. Ooh, there's something right there. Make sure that this is. Now I might get back up. 
minus 22 KO. You make sure you're going to recover. Yay! More food. Pretty good. Just gotta keep moving. And actually, I'm gonna go partially around that mountain. Just because there are so many weird paths on it. And like I said, I'm pretty sure the dust storm stuff on the other side. Making it my most dangerous stretch. Oh yeah, about the safest you can be is near a pack of Garu. Unfortunately, y'all run really fast. And that's because, for whatever reason, lots of things that you wouldn't expect attack Garu. And then even the ones that don't, if they don't stop moving, they can be attacked by the animals. And the animals almost always win. Honestly, as long as you're attacking somebody for me, I'm happy. So being in a wide open plane like this, lots of visibility, full squad like that, on patrol, I'm happy. Then you have the traders coming down this way. Oh, is he not in distance? Yes. Okay, Skinner's on patrol. Train changes colors here. I'm not sure what that's about. It signifies something. Ah. Hmm. It's 
spine right right ahead. Doing well. Still is only at eight. What? Um, thirty five without the arm. Also, I wonder if your disguise effectiveness is based off of. Your true stealth or your effective stealth? I imagine it's effective stealth. Those are more food over there, but it's out of my way. Jeez. This game took a couple of hits to the head, and that's it. Okay, so now I'm in the Great Desert as opposed to the Lesser Desert. You know, the one that only took me 45 minutes to cross. Anyway, what is this? Oh, Vagrants. Really? Severed limbs from a skimmer. Well, I guess anything is possible with really bad luck. See, ideally, it hits you when you're in the vitals. That's true way. It puts you down, dealing as little damage as possible. But that leaves you sometimes with oh man, there's some big troops in here. That leaves you sometimes with the needing to rely on your friends part. Not the best situation. She's coming right at me. Okay, increase stealth. Increase stealth. 36 is not going to cut it. Start dropping weights. That's 5 kilograms on its own. I need that. Walk me to 51. I'll just get out of this path. I don't know if we're in the dust storm right now.
Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's it for tonight, folks. But that's what happens when you run out of dust coverage, dust cloud coverage. But I will come back to this, I will finish it, and the entire thing will be on YouTube. Because why not? Uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and see you next time. This is Terminal Account.